Hi everybody, we're here at the Habitat for Humanity Restore Tool Lending Library. I'm Danny Ackwright and this is my colleague and friend Stephen Baker. We're here to tell you about some of the new tools that have just been added to the tool library. What are you most excited about, Stephen? Having new tools for the members. It's awesome. just, yeah, everybody gets very excited about it. It's always cool to see their faces light up when they see new things in the, in the library. And so. new opportunities to do things at home and oh, yeah. improve their own home, right? Oh yeah. Very cool. So let's start over here. We've got, looks like a drill and driver um, and some extra batteries here. So we've got brand new stuff here. What's the difference between the two of these? So your impact drill here is gonna be more of um, driving screws, um, things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, the uh, other drill over here is gonna be more for your drill bits. Um, it has adjustable torque all the way across um, from one to 15 and uh, two different speeds. All right, now we need to check that they work, so. There it is. There we go. And of course, uh, DeWalt, great brand, very oh, yeah. reliable, very oh, yeah. powerful, good to go. Very cool. How about this? Uh, we've got this little tiny device here, but it, I, I have a sense that this is more powerful than it lets on in this little box. It is, that is a 30 foot range uh, Bosch laser level. It actually um, self levels itself. Um, you can clamp it onto a variety of different uh, uh, places wherever you need to. And uh, it's great for um, hanging pictures, putting cabinets up, uh, backsplash, things like that. Anything that you need to be directly on level for that that special high level type of thing. Yeah. And you don't have to hold up a, a spirit level the whole time. Right, you're doing right. You've got that nice red line. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, it's a great product. And this, this clamp looks like you can clamp it to a countertop or a ladder or a tabletop, yep. the back of a chair or whatever. Yep, um, anything that you go. have that, uh, that you can set up on your spirit level. Very cool. What is this? This is imposing. This is uh, Graco's uh, Magnum X. Um, it's a airless uh, paint sprayer. It has the ability to run out of a one gallon or a five gallon pail. Um, the, the thing that I love about this is it's actually see-through for the hoses. Mm -hmm. It's very user-friendly in that when you prime this, you can see that paint go through into the motor and then back out to here. That way you know it's fully primed. You won't have um, air pockets or bubbles or anything that's going to affect your spray. And then the other great thing about this, is it's user friendly in that this filter here comes off like so. And this little piece goes on like so. And you can connect your garden hose to it, to it just out. to be able to clean it out. And you can Very see nice. visually that yeah. it's cleaned out. So that's awesome. Yeah. So last time we talked, we talked about a handheld paint sprayer and we got that here, right? We do, yeah. Um, just like we want, it was out last time. We had members using it. Right. So uh, the nice thing about this is it has this uh, collapsible cup on it here. So when you put your paint in, um, you can squeeze this little collapsible cup here until the air is fully out of it, got create it. a suction. Uh -huh. That goes down, that way this can spray upside down. If you have like rafter tails or soffits or anything on the mm -hmm. outside of your house, you know, you've got that two by four or two by six that comes out where you got to get in here, in here, in like that, yeah. and then around the outside. That makes sense. So, and it's, it's a lot easier than maybe perhaps having the hose when you're doing that and it's wrapping around the back sure. of you and all of that. Yeah. So, um, two absolutely great products by yeah. a great company. Yeah. Um, just depending on the situation, um, you know, if you want the hose, don't want the hose, so good to go there. Sounds great. Now, what is this device we've got over on the end here? This is a new 43cc um, auger head, brand new. Um, again, if you're doing fence posts, anything like that, um, you can also use these to uh, plant seedlings, trees, things like that if you need to. Awesome. Um, and then we also have a variety of uh, different extensions, uh, 20 inch, 12 inch, and 8 inch. So, um, code in Iowa, if you're going to set up here, uh, is 42 inches for frost footing. Mm -hmm. And so, with these, you can actually get the depth that you need to so that you can keep your inspector as happy as possible. <laughs> and be safe. And be safe, yes. Absolutely. So, safe first, inspector safe. Yeah. 
And so that would work great if you're you know, working on a new deck or something like that. Yeah, oh yeah. Setting a, like you said, a, a new tree. You just want to have some big holes in your yard. Yeah. That feels like the right tool for the job. Yeah. Cool, so how uh, how would somebody go about borrowing one of these tools? Uh, come on down to the East Euclid Restore, um, at 2200 Euclid and East Euclid, and um, come on in, see me, sign up, and it takes about five or six minutes, fill out some paperwork, and uh, we get them signed up. And be on their way and working on their home and making improvements. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks for taking the time today, Steve. Yeah, no problem.